Okay, the last race here for today from Friars Hall up in Kelso is a two mile five furlong. Bob Champion Chase, so number one high figurine for everyone, two Ralph Jones for us, three Green Lump for Graham, four Deep Miss for Doug, five Mackinac for Darren House, six Kind for Castle for Martin Eden, along with Mr. Busser for Doug Warren, and Flying Dream and Vidaville for Alex Cherry make up eight and nine. Just nine of them, over two mile fives for the Bob Champion Chase, and they're all over the first. And we're going to be led by Doug's Mr. Busser going to take them into the second, jumps it well. A little bit quick across the top, so Mr. Busser bounds off into the lead, an unusual uh, leader here for Doug Warren. Deep missing second, Ralph Flying Dream. Grey Nun and Vidanil running on board Mr. Busser now in the lead as he comes up. Now we're back on high figurine, you can see he's probably four lengths off the pack at the moment. Gets over that well, no, but there's still plenty of time to go, still well over two miles to travel. High figurine. Back on board, Mr. Busser. We get over towards the rail a little bit better. As you can see, it's a beautiful ground here in the Highlands. Well, not the Highlands of Scotland, should say the Lowlands, the borders. I'm not pretty sure Kelso is. But it's Mr. Busser. By a couple of lengths to Mackinac, Flying Dream, Green, and Vidaville. And then they've got Deep Miss Ralph and Collins for Castle. High figure range, just a little bit detached at the moment, but gets over that one well. So through four of 17, and swing left-handed here, inside the two miles now, it's Mr. Busser, and that one that leads from Grey Nun. Mr. Busser jumps it well, Grey Nun was quick and fast over that, and cut into his lead, which is a length and a half between those two. Very further two back to Flying Dream, Vidaville, Mackinac, Ralph against the fence. Deep Miss and Colin Gass were just behind those. They get, oh, and we've lost the leader, Mr. Busser's gone. Jockey got off before he even got to that ditch. It was an open ditch, and Mr. Busser is out of the race. Lucky duck. So, swing left handed again here. My figurine probably needs to to do a bit from there. Kind of kind of, so get a lot of pull ups in the hunter chasers. I think he might well be getting one. Ooh. Go through the seventh, and the one that went through it worst of all was Grey Nump. Demoted himself back down into third because we're really being led by Ralph into the eighth. He'll jump over that, and this time Doug's Deep Miss bounds off into the lead again. So it's Deep Miss now from Ralph and Mackinac and Grey Nump into the ninth. The loose horse up front gets over it first. Poor jump there by Carlingford Castle. So Mr. Busser is still running, although he's jockeyless. Behind him is his stable mate Deep Miss. Or so back to Green and Ralph Mackinac together. Get to the 10th, leaders over it, as is everybody else. Go past the grandstand or the outbuilding, I suppose you'd call it here at uh, Friars Hall. Beer tent, beer tent, landscape garden in the background, house over there on the right amongst the trees, but it's deepness still leading us from Mackinac and Green Nun, Ralph Flying Dream. Carlingford Castle is the one just at the back of the pack. The one right out of it at the moment. Looks like he should really be tailed off his high figurine. But it's Deep Miss, leads him into the 11th, gets over it. Go on, boy, and they're all over it. So it's Deep Miss from Mackinac, Grey Nun, Ralph. And Ralph's got a, himself a little bit locked in here. Jockey's up in his irons, and they get to the 12th, leaders over it. And the one at the rear. So Deep Miss from Mackinac. Miss has uh, stretched out a little bit here. Leads by a couple, overtaken the loose horse. Mr. Busser has, has Mackinac now. Grey Nun making a challenge into this ditch. They're over it. The leaders including my figurine, I imagine, but it's Deep Miss. Leads by a couple to Mackinac and Grey Nun. Ralph's got plenty of room now. Bit of Ville. Out wide is Flying Dream. But look out for Carling for Castle. We know these Martin Leadham horses just burst from nowhere get a sneaky win but it's deep miss going up the hill now from ralph putting down a, a marker it's deep miss and ralph into the 14th there's three left to jump and it's deep miss and we lost one did we lose no we didn't lose one there i thought we had but it's deep miss and ralph these two are going to approach the 15th together they're over it together they're about four lengths ahead of Mackinac, vidaville gray nun and carlin for castle and out of it is flying dream and high figurine but bursting away is deep miss as they go over the penultima deep miss leads by about four now to ralph Mackinac, vidaville but deep miss is 
drag them out here. The one that's going to try and come out of the pack and chase him down is Vidaville, but it's Deep Ness inside the final furlong. Gets to the last, get over it, he does. But here comes Vidaville, there's not much of a run in half a mile. Furlong, it's Deep Ness, Vidaville, Deep Ness. But Doug Warren's going to hang on to this, takes a good win there from Vidaville in second, round for his third, McInnell fourth, coming for Castle fifth. And Green Nun sixth, Ryan Dream finishes, well done. Didn't get pulled up. So it's a win for Deepness of Doug Warren. Well done. Second was Vidaville for Alex Jerry. Third was Ralph for James Forrest. Fourth was McAnelf, Darren Howes. And fifth was Colin for Castle for Martin Leland.